So, you want to play the Preservation Evoker. It's a very good choice. This is the new unique dragon healer everyone is going to play when Dragonfly releases. As according to World of Warcraft themselves, this is an advanced class, which means the difficulty is nuts. To the point that they have to test your intelligence to see if you can spell. Crazy, but you're in luck because this video will teach you every single thing you need to know to succeed and be the best possible Preservation Evoker you can be. This healer uses the power of the dragon aspects to keep party members alive. The most unique thing about this class is the playstyle of being able to hold abilities for certain lamps to make them more powerful or gain different effects. The Volker has very powerful offensive abilities, to the point that it's pretty much a DPS class, which consists of blue, red, and black dragon magic. I'll cover the base abilities, including DPS talents from the Volker tree. The Volker uses mana and essence, a resource that recharges over time that your powerful abilities use. Azure Strike hits two targets of blue magic. The gray costs three essence and shoots a hypercharged beam into an enemy's face doing big big damage living flame shoots a spinning red flame at an enemy or ally damaging or healing a two-in-one combo spell fire breath is one of your empower abilities where holding it for longer periods of time makes it do more damage hitting enemies in a cone applying a damage over time effect known as a dot to use these empower spells you have to hold the spell button and then let go to activate it at certain times. Deep Breath is a two minute cooldown where I can aim a huge block in a straight line where then your invoker will fly over spewing molten lava onto enemies and also removes you out of roots and provides immunity to crowd control during flight. One of the greatest moves I've ever seen in World of Warcraft. For talents, you have Unravel, which allows you to do very high damage to enemy absorb shields like the Priest Powered Shield or the Warlock Dark Pack. It can be very useful in PvP situations. Key passive talents that you want to run to empower your invoker damage would be permeating chill which makes all your blue spells slow enemies by 15 percent this is super powerful especially being a ranged class and having a spambo slow especially when you combo with azure strike terror of the skies will make your deep breath stun for three seconds so you can make your deep breath like a stupid powerful ability as a healer which is crazy the preservation of Volker is going to be everybody's favorite healer with the amount of busted tools it has to save teammates using the power of green and bronze dragon magic reversion will apply a hot known as a heal over time on a target healing them over duration and every time it crits will extend how long it lasts so technically it could stay on the ally forever paired with golden hour from the preservation tree your reversion spell will heal a target for 15 percent of the damage they took in the last five seconds making this heal extremely powerful when timed right and then paired with punctuality will give it another charge Echo costing both essence and mana will instantly heal and cause your next heal that's not echo to double and heal twice. So this has a lot of potential to combo together and make huge heals for the evoker. Paired with Time Lord will make that second heal 50% stronger. Your next move, Emerald Blossom, costing essence and mana, will spawn a green circle at your ally's location. After two seconds, it will explode for AoE healing. To really empower your Emerald Blossom AoE healing, you need to run Bountiful bloom from the evoker tree which makes it heal two more allies and then you have fluttering seedlings which will send out two seeds that will also explode healing allies and feel the dreams giving the fluttering seedlings a 30 percent chance to become another emerald blossom pansia will make your emerald blossom a very strong self heal as well giving it a use outside of aoe heals and cycle of life makes every three emerald blossoms leave behind a sprout that gathers 50 percent of all healing you do over 10 seconds and then exploding for aoe healing so there's many ways to make emerald blossom extremely powerful spirit bloom is an empower ability that the longer you hold will heal more allies splitting the overall healing this is one of your most powerful spells that can either be an aoe or single target that gets enhanced by empath making your spirit bloom increase essence regeneration by 100 percent which enables you to get other healing and damage abilities off more often or you can run spiritual clarity with it which reduces the cool down a spirit bloom by 10 seconds so you can cast it more often both are very good options depending on your playstyle. dream breath another empower ability with an interesting mechanic where the longer you hold it the weaker the heal over time becomes but the stronger the initial heal will be hitting up to five allies in a cone so with this spell you can dictate what type of heal you want based on the situation temporal anomaly will shoot a bronze orb in a circle forward shielding two allies that it hits for big amounts 
This can be very hard to get off as you have to aim it. But the trick that I found out is by shooting it at a wall, it will get stuck and then you and your allies can walk in and get the perks. This ability can be boosted by a resonating spear, which makes it apply echo at 30% of effectiveness, which gives you a nice little synergy. And you have Norse Dormu's teachings, which makes temporal anomaly usable on an extra target. So you can run either of those abilities depending on what type of playstyle you want. Verdant Embrace is a cool ability where you can fly to an ally, healing them for a good amount and getting to them very fast. This can be enhanced by Call of Yursa, making it increase Dream Breath's healing by 40%, or living flames healing by 100%. And you can also pair with life bind, whereby after using verdant embrace, it bonds you to that ally, causing healing received by any of you to heal the other for 40% of the amount, lasting for five seconds. Key passive talents from the evoker tree that you wanna to run to empower your healing abilities are ancient flame, which makes your living flames 40% faster after the first healing cast on yourself, which enables you to have very quick casted heals. Lush growth and attuned to the dreamer or just flat increases to your overall healing. From the preservation tree, important passives to run are Life Giver's Flame, which makes your Flame Breath DPS spell 80% of its damage heal up to five targets, giving you another strong healing option. Orbos makes Emerald Blossom or Dream Breath give you a stack, increasing Echo's direct healing by 15%, stacking up to 20 times, meaning Echo can be 300% stronger, making it a tremendous heal for your allies and yourself. Time of Need makes it so when you you or your teammates falls below 20 percent a time traveling version of yourself will come and heal them for eight seconds this will is able to occur every 90 seconds so yes you can control time insanity in the link in the description there will be a link to an ever updating guide for a general talent build and deep breakdown on some of the key spells for the preservation evoker for whatever reason, the Preservation Evoker has so many powerful cooldowns that I don't even understand are in the game. Baseline, you get Fury of Aspects, which increases your haste by 30% for all raid and party members for 40 seconds. Then they have to wait 10 minutes to get that effect again. A powerful Lust ability. For your Evoker Tree cooldowns, Obsidian Scales will reduce your damage taken by 30% on a 1.5 minute cooldown. You're very good to use when you're taking a high amount of damage and you use it early so you reduce the most amount of damage possible. And you can pair this with the Evoker talent Obsidian Bulwark, which will give you an extra charge, which is super powerful. Tip the Scales makes your next empowered ability Instacast at max power, which can be used for offense or healing and get you a really powerful spell. Renewing Blaze causes all damage you take for 8 seconds to then heal all back over 8 seconds. One of the strongest cooldowns I've ever seen in World of Warcraft. You can pair this with the Evoker talent Foci of Life, so when Renewing Blaze is active for the first eight seconds, healing on use increased by 20%, making this cooldown insane if it wasn't already. Or you can run Fire Within, which reduces the cooldown of Renewing Blaze from 1.5 minute to one minute. Nuts that you're able to recover all damage you take on a minute cooldown. Both these options are great, just gonna depend on what you wanna run. Time Spiral allows you to bend time, enabling your allies and you to cast a major movement ability, even if it's on cooldown. This is very useful for getting away from enemies or getting to them. Zephyr will lift you and four allies in the air, reducing AoE damage taken by 20% and increasing your speed by 30. So another mobility spell. You can run Rerun, which will reverse 50% of all damage all allies within 40 yards have taken in the last five seconds and will always heal for a minimum amount, increased by 100% when you're not in raids. This is like so broken, it's hilarious. On a four minute cooldown, you can reverse half the damage you and like potentially 40 other people take. And it can be enhanced by erasure, giving rewind two charges by reducing the healing by 50%, meaning that it will only reverse 25% of the damage you have taken in the last five seconds, which is decent if you want multiple uses. Or you can run temporal artificer which reduces rewind's cooldown by one minute so from four to three minutes this is very useful if you want it up sooner both options are great but i would run erasure for more flexibility with the spell 
time dilation will stretch time around whoever you use it on, causing 50% of the damage they take to spread over 8 seconds, giving you time to deal with it, which can be very powerful when used at the correct times. When, let's say, you're taking a very high amount of damage, pop this in yourself, and then you're gonna have time to breathe. This can be paired with delay harm, which increases it to 70%, or just in time, making every essence ability you use, reducing the cooldown of time dilation by 2 seconds. Either option is really powerful, but I would probably take just in time so I have it up more often. Emerald Communion will heal you for 20% of your health and 2% of your mana every 0.9 seconds for 4.4 seconds, healing you for 100% of your health and 10% mana if it fully goes up. Another stupidly strong cooldown that you have. This is usable when you're fear, stunned, or silenced, and all healing that overheals you will heal the nearest injured ally. Don't know how they also have this as well. Paired with the Dreamwalker talent, it will allow you to use it while you're moving, or you can pair it with Rush of Vitality, which will increase your maximum health by 20% for 15 seconds when you use it. Both options are very situational based. Dream Flight is an ability you can aim in a giant rectangle that will fly over in a path healing allies for a huge amounts instantly and putting a big heal over time on them. This will also remove all roots you have on yourself and provide immunity to all CC aka crowd control. Finally, the last big cooldown you get is Stasis, causing your next three healing spells to be stored and then for 30 seconds, you can click stasis at any time it will shoot it all those three spells right back out this is really broken if you store the right healing spells what i find really crazy about this class is that you can run majority of these busted cooldown and have probably 90 percent of them the preservation of voker passes are also very ridiculous baseline you get tempered scales increasing your armor by 75 percent and you also wear male armor making your armor value nuts reducing lots of physical damage mastery life binder makes your healing on allies increased when their health is lower than yours this can be really powerful and the only negative i can see is that you don't benefit from it personally a key passive you can run from the preservation tree is temporal compression making each cast of your bronze spells reduce the cast time of any of your empower spells by five percent stacking up to four times which means you can reduce your empower spells by 20 percent the cast time essence burst gives living flame a 20 percent chance to make your next essence spell free stacking twice making living flame a spell you want to cast very often from the evoker talent tree landslide will root enemies in a rectangular path on a 1.5 minute cooldown and can be paired with forger of mountains reducing landslide's cooldown by 30 seconds to one minute and allowing the roots to handle 200 percent more damage if you want roots more often make sure to run this quell is a 40 second cooldown ranged interrupt and yes healers have interrupts now except for the priest. This is good for all game modes and can be enhanced by Roar of Exhilaration. When you successfully interrupt the target, you will gain one essence, allowing you to get more spells off. Naturalize is a cleanse, removing magic and poison effects off yourself or teammates. And Cauterizing Flame is the boosted version, removing an ally's bleeds, poisons, curses, and disease effects, and healing them for a healthy amount. Blessing the Bronze is a baseline spell usable in all friendly targets, reducing the cooldown of their major movement ability by 15%. On the Evoker tree, you can take Source of Magic and place it on a friendly target, giving them 0.25% mana every time you cast an Empowered spell. This will be mainly used in raids and group situations. This spell can be boosted by Regenerative Magic, a passive making the healer you put Source of Magic on, 15% of their healing will also go to you when you're under 50% health. A Crushing Roar is a big 2-minute cooldown that shoots out a cone on enemies, extending crowd controls on them also known as CCs, by 50% for 10 seconds. This is really good for PvP because you could throw this on an enemy and your teammate can stun them and it's going to be super long. This can also be enhanced by Overall, where whoever you hit with Impressing Roar, it will remove Enrage effects off of them, one per enemy. And each time you remove an Enrage effect, it reduces the cooldown of it by 20 seconds. Sleepwalk is one of the few CCs you have. It is a casted disorient, making an enemy walk towards you for 20 seconds in PvE and 8 seconds 
seconds in PvE. Mobility is also very big on this class. You have multiple abilities to get away from people, which is amazing as a ranged. Hover will launch you forward, increasing your speed by 30%, allowing all of Vulcan spells to be castable while moving, and can be stronger with extended flight, making it last four seconds longer. And you have aerial mastery, which will give it an additional charge, which I would recommend taking as a ranged class. Rescue allows you to jump to an ally's location. This can help you get away fast. And if you pair it with Twin Guardian, you and your ally will also gain a 30% absorb shield for five seconds after you use the ability. And finally, you can run Exuberance, where above 75% health, you run 10% faster. I'll speed run through the Honor Talent section, determining which ones are good or bad for you. Dream Projection will allow you to control a ghost version of yourself that every time you pass through an ally, you'll heal them for a very healthy amount, and then you can click the button again to explode it for a massive heal, removing all magical effects off of people around you and yourself. This is super powerful, so make sure to run it. Chrono Loop will put an enemy in a loop where after five seconds, they will return to the point that you used it. The only use I see with this is keeping an enemy at low health if a bunch of healing or defenses is coming their way. Obsidian Meadow makes your obsidian scales provide interrupt, silence, and pushback immunity. Run this if you feel like you're getting hit by those things specifically a lot. Skewering Flame makes fire breath dispel magical effects off of enemies. Very useful when you're facing enemies that have very powerful buffs you can take off. Time Stop will freeze a friendly or yourself in place for four seconds, providing invincibility where they can't do anything. Very clutch for saving yourself or teammates in very dire situations. Swoop Up will grab an enemy beside you and bring them to another location. Great for taking enemies to bad spots where you can capitalize on that or removing them completely from the fight. Nullifying Shroud will provide immunity to the next three CC on yourself for 30 seconds, giving you an opportunity to do whatever you want for a good chunk of time, which in PvP is extremely powerful. Unburdened Flight makes your hover mobility spell give you immunity to slows and roots so it's going to be very important you run this when you're running away from enemies divide and conquer will cause deep breath to spawn two giant walls blocking enemies viewpoints and could be used in creative ways to lock an enemy down and isolate them from the rest of their team or provide you cover precognition will give you a haste buff and cc immunity for four seconds when an interrupt is used on you and doesn't do anything i would run this if you know how to fake cast really well out of all the talents dream projection in my opinion is the only one you must run all the time the healing rotation is relatively simple for the preservation of voker for single target when a teammate is around 70 to 100 percent health use reversion and living flame to keep them up or echo living flame echo reversion to double the healing and double the hot on a target this will be very effective at those very high health bars around 50 to 70 percent use the same ability but the addition of temporal anomaly for a big absorb shield but beware because it costs a lot of mana and has a relatively short cooldown so don't use it too much Time dilation you can use as well for damage mitigation on a short cooldown and verdant embrace for a quick big heal as long as it doesn't put you in a bad situation. 40% and lower you want to use spells like echo spirit bloom at level one so it heals one person for double and echo dream breath at level three for a big initial double heal and this should, should do the job and bring someone back to full health and if not use one of your multiple big cooldowns like tip the scales dream breath for a big insta heal or dream flight rewind or stasis for aoe healing you want to use emerald blossom with the passive talents i mentioned in the healing ability slash talent section earlier temporal anomaly spirit bloom level two or three because it's going to become aoe level two will hit two targets level three will hit three targets and dream breath at any level and throw in echo first with any of those spells i mentioned to double the healing and if you need really big cooldowns rewind is huge for aoe dream fly another their big aoe heal and stasis which you can fill with emerald dream spirit bloom level two or three and dream breath
graph of any level. Should you play this spec? Absolutely, even as a beginner. The class is listed as advanced difficulty, but it really isn't that hard when you get the hang of everything, especially timing the empower skills, which will be the most difficult task. If you're able to master this class, it will be extremely powerful, and in my opinion, almost invincible. You have so many powerful tools, and you'll probably see everybody playing this class, which will probably lead it to getting nerfed, but enjoy it while you can. If you're new, make sure to subscribe for good luck, and thanks for watching. Peace.